little bit about Anson. Anson is a graduate from uh, University of Malaya, major in economic and uh, management, and he has many years of experience in capital finance and private funding. Anson is responsible for setting up the complete standard of operating procedure in UNIF, focus in funding activities and leading new leaf into global market. Okay, well, uh, we will have a Q&A after this sharing session. You all may drop any inquiry that you have uh, in the Q&A and chat box below, yeah? Okay, without further ado, please welcome Anson. All right, thanks, So Allow me to share the screen first. All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Anson. I'm sales director of New Leaf. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank your time to participate in tonight's session. And in next 30 minutes, I'm going to share with you three main things. The first one, of course, we want to know uh, the agriculture industry in Malaysia, especially uh, what happens to durian. And second, we'll talk about New Leaf. What have we done in the past many years and what is our goal for next five to 10 years? And of course, the last thing I believe all of you are waiting for, which is uh, how can you leverage on New Leaf platform, uh, come into this uh, golden opportunity and let's earn the fortune in this, uh, uh, this platform, this project, all right? So, Let's look at the Malaysia agriculture industry. We know that Malaysia, basically, we are top one, top two, top three in terms of um, rubber, oil palm, and durian plantation producer, all right? Oil palm, we know that uh, in the past so many years, a lot of uh, listed companies is actually involved with palm oil plantation, all right? And if you drive away from uh, north to south, along the highway, you will see it's planted by palm oil in plantation, right? So what happens to durian? Basically, durian in the past, we will say 50 years, is developed by small farmer. Uh, maybe they have three to five acres. So it shows that durian is still um, so-called under development. And this is opportunity for all of us. And this is what happened in Malaysia now. Compared with palm oil, Malaysia planta uh, durian plantation is already covered 76,000 hectares. But palm oil, we can see here, is 5.8 million hectares, all right? So also we know that this is the stage that produce a lot of durian. A lot of people were surprised that, hey, I thought uh, the top one should be Pahang. Okay, this is the reason, what is the reason behind? The reason is Johor, most of the farmer, especially Chinese farmer, they developed uh, uh, durian plantations much more earlier compared with Pahang. And Pahang is more popular with Musang King plantation, right? So Musang King, the origin is from Tanah Merah and Guam Musang Kelantan. And, and after that, a lot of uh, these uh, Chinese farmer bought the seeds to Pahang and, and they focus in uh, Rao and Bentong. And Rao and Bentong also the main uh, plantation locations that we have and there's more than 200 registered brief in Malaysia. D197 Musang King is the most popular one. Why they name it D197? D is basically is the scientific name, stand for Duria. And there is 197 uh, brief has been registered. And recently, we also know that another brief very popular, especially Black Tone. All right. So, you can see from here, we have Sultan King, we have Teka, Mars, Brecon, and Musang King. So make a guess which one is New Leaf uh, Plantation focus on. Then let me tell you, we focus on Musang King. Why is Musang King but not other? Okay, if you happens in overseas like Australia or Hong Kong, if you can see Malaysia during, uh, in their supermarket, it was definitely names it Musang King Malaysia. So basically, Musang King is a well-known international durian brand. Okay, so this is why we focus on Musang King. Basically, they have the commercial value. And next, we look at the durian market potential. This is what happened in the market now. Global durian export is monopoly by Thailand. Why is monopoly by Thailand but not Malaysia? The reason behind is very simple. Thailand developed durian. It's just like how Malaysia developed palm oil industry. They skill up the industry and most of the durian, we will say 90%, is for export purposes to earn the currency. Okay, And what happens to Malaysia? Uh, in fact, Malaysian, like you and me, we are the durian lover, I believe, all of you. And, but uh, most of the durian's country is consumed locally. We only manage to export a little bit to 
overseas. The reason behind that is our production itself is very little compared with Thailand. However, if you look at the statistic, you will notice that since 2014 to 2018, the number has been triple jump. All right. So if you see from 2014, 13,000 metric ton compared with 2018, in the shorter five years period of time, it jumped up to 43,000. What happens in the last year? Last year, the statistics show that about 58 thousand all right and let's look at uh, other news the supporting documents to, for, uh, to support my statement just now cnn from singapore reported that durian will become one of the major export uh, agriculture goods for malaysia and also from maybank maybank uh, investment research mentioned that it is not just pump anymore so now people are look at the, uh, look at the potential of durian in future all right, so who are the ones who import durian the most? Of course, it's the top one population in world, China. China from 2014 to 2018 is double jump, all right? And also we notice that not only China, there's more and more country, just in terms of the volume, China is the number one. Especially durian is very popular in Chinese market. But don't forget one thing, nowadays Chinese is everywhere, especially in, uh, even in this, uh, uh, like Australia, I've been to Australia before, they have a Chinatown, right? Even uh, this uh, Europe, they have, uh, a Western country that have Chinatown is everywhere Chinese and they bring in durian to market in, in their city. All right. And this is what happens uh, in year 2019. This is a good news to, to so called, it's not to everyone. In fact, it's to those who export durian to China, it's those who are involved in durian industry. This is why you look at the opportunity today. Imagine that if you have a chance to sell some product in China that China couldn't get it. So how profitable, how huge in the market you can imagine that. In fact, you can't imagine how big is that. And in year 2019 May, finally Malaysia, we get to export the whole frozen durian to China. Then you will know that in the past, the market has been monopoly by uh, Thailand. But in fact, you might ask yourself, is, China, uh, is Thailand and Malaysia durian, which is the best? Of course, everyone after tested Malaysia, Musang King or Black Thorn, they will we will know the answer. All right. And this is what happens now. Most of the durian 85% is local consumption. All right. We supply to local people. Nowadays, even you come to our website, you come to our eShop, you can purchase durian directly and we deliver to your doorstep. And only liter 15% we export. The reason behind is the durian industry in Malaysia still in a very, very early stage. We call it undevelopment. So this is a huge potential for us to expand the whole business and to increase our export volume. All right, let's look at China market. Based on 1.4 billion uh, population, and just now we did mention that China is the top one who import durian. China, the market is so big. But do you know that this big market, at this moment, there's only 1% of China population tested durian before. Imagine that this 1% increased to 2%, it will be 100% jump. I dare to say that the whole Malaysia planted durian still not enough to supply for the 1% of Chinese population. And now there's only some of the so-called first level city uh, like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou and Shenzhen managed to get durian. The reason is durian is an expensive good. Not only, we don't want to say uh, China, if in Malaysia, one durian, two kg, sell it 1 kg 70 ringgit, you have to spend more than 100 ringgit it's just to get one durian, you know? And do you know that one mature durian tree can produce more than 100 to 200 durian per year? So how profitable is that? And one, uh, dur the durian are selling at 250 to 300 ringgit in China per kilo. So you can see this is the opportunity for us. And since uh, we know that uh, nowadays China they get more and more popular about durian, 10 times growth from 2010 to 2019. If you see the volume from 170,000 metric ton jump up to 600, it's actually times three. But in terms of the so-called uh, number, the so-called US in, in terms of dollar, 
it jumped 10 times. It showed that the durian become more and more expensive in China when the demand has been increased, where more and more people in China, they get to know about durian. And this is what happened to the farm price. Now we're talking about farm price. Farm price, it means that from the plantation sell to the wholesaler, after that, they mark up the price from wholesaler to the store and store sell it to the end consumer like you and me. Okay, so today, are you going to spend money to buy durian or you hope and, and then everybody know that buy durian just like you buy two durian, spend you 300 ringgit. People keep complaining durian is expensive. So my question to you, are you going to spend money to buy the so-called expensive money or you wish to at the same time to earn money back from durian industry? So tonight, there is an opportunity for you. 2012 to 2020, you see the, the durian, the farm price grow up steady, even until today, 2021. The average price per kg is about 50 ringgit, go up another 10% compared with last year. So what is the reason? What is the meanings behind that? People keep com complaining like market is not good, everything are dropped, property are dropped, but how come durian still stand very strong? We, will, we know that if some, something, some good, there is limited supply, definitely the price will be very good, right? We know that durian is a seasonal product. One year, two season, every season lasts about two to three months. So with this limited supply, and then of course the price will stay very strong. And today you not even need to go to the store to get your durian. You can just place online. I believe a lot of people are selling durian online now. And I believe most, I, I, you, you, you definitely see a lot of your friends posted eating durian in Facebook, am I right? So this is why durian is so popular and they are so welcome whether Malaysia or international. And now talking about my second part, new leaf. New leaf we has came into durian plantation 10 years ago. And we noticed that the potential, the market is so huge. Why are we going to like the traditional farmer who have three to five acres? In fact, we have the expertise. We have not only plantation experience, we have corporate uh, team to help us scale up the whole business. And New Leaf is formed by two different uh, so-called expertise people. The first one, of course, is plantation. We have very experienced, more than 20 years experience farm manager, we have a corporate guy who have finance, real estate experience to grow the company together. And we focus on these three things, from plantation to harvest, we send from manufacturing to international trade and retail. Meaning to say that we have complete the whole durian business chance from A to Z. Okay, imagine that when we acquire the plantation, come to we, we when we have the harvest, we send for manufacturing. When after process, we send for our retail and international, right? So let's look at the plantation. We have an old tree up to 20 years old. At this moment, the oldest uh, Musang King, Musang King is, is, is a crafted uh, uh, nowadays, all the way Musang King or, or Breakcomb all is crafted tree. The oldest Musang King at the moment is about 43 years old, okay? So we have old tree and we have young tree that we just developed. Then people might ask me a question, what is the current status now, okay? Current status is we have an old tree which produce use for us. So imagine that you join in today, you are going to expect your dividend in next one, two years. And we have young tree that we just planted about one, two years old is going to ha uh, have this uh, so-called harvest in another two to three years. When all the plantation that we have is fully planted, uh, now it's fully planted, and all the plantation that we have is fully harvested, then you will going to expect high return in next three to five years, all right? And we do get certified from Ministry of Agriculture. This is called MyGap. Every two years, we are required to send our durian for MyGap, all right? And when it comes to manufacturing, manufacturing, uh, some country is not required a frozen durian, like Malaysia, of course, we don't need. If there's frozen durian, you also don't want to buy it, am I right? You just want to get a fresh durian. Our neighbor country, Singapore, also get a fresh durian. And another country, Hong Kong, about five, five hours flight from here, also will get the fresh durian like you and me, okay? 
through a so-called a very well-known uh, logistic company I will show you uh, later. And if for some other country like China and Japan, also this uh, uh, Australia and Philippines, and also another one is Thai, uh, this uh, uh, Taiwan, this few country is basically our existing distributor China, all right? So they are required frozen durian. Okay, and this is our packaging 3D. We have already stepped into few countries. And let's look at the retail side. So after process, we do have retail. You can come to our website. You can just, uh, just, just purchase the fresh durian and deliver to your doorstep if you are in Klang Valley. And not only fresh durian, we are also selling uh, this downstream product. Imagine that when there is no durian season, how can we fulfill the needs of this durian lover, right? Of course, we have a uh, downstream product, product like durian truffle chocolates, cookies, and cheesecake, all this. Okay. So the world is our market. Okay, let's look at it. And this is the things that I'm going to share with you. We work closely with DHL for export activity. If you came to our website, you just go to this uh, investor blog, you just go under uh, this uh, logistic, then you will know that there is, in, there is an interview session with managing director of DHL, Mr. Julian. So, all right. He talking about uh, the collaborative with New Leaf and Julian's also mentioned one very, very important key point. DHL are planning to open more and more international market. Okay. It showed that the durian industry in Malaysia collaborate together with the expertise with the logistic company to skew up the business to international. This is how big is the market. And every box like you see from the photo, this is the one that every box you, you may guess is how much you know, it's more than thousand, okay? Every box 10 kg is more than thousand. We have stepped into uh, this uh, China and Hong Kong market. And we get a lot of credit from media like the star. All these media, I will just go through it because you can just come to our website and read. And we have uh, two full pages from the start, from our plantation manufacturing nursery, our go activity. And this is Astro AEC came to our plantation for the video shooting. Sina Haran is Malay and CCTV from China. Uh, China News Asia from Singapore, all right. And we participate in one of the biggest events in Beijing 2019. This is called Beijing Malaysia Durian Festival. And we are very proud that we had a chance to introduce and share our expertise, our company go to the uh, prime, the ex-prime minister with uh, uh, with his Tun Mahathir. When in that time, if you still remember 2019, our Tun, Tun M is our prime minister at that time. And then together with one built one root event, and then he attended to the event. Okay, so now come to the third part of my presentation. If you see the market is so big, then if you know what is New Leaf doing, and now this is what you're concerned about. How can you leverage on New Leaf? What is the protection you have? And how generating new leaf? And also what is potential return? This is all you want to know, right? First, we look at what we offer to you, redeemable preference share. Preference share is one type of uh, company funding activity. If you go Google search, you'll know some of the, uh, what, what is the meaning of preference share? Basically, preference share is like a uh, preferred investor, you will get paid in terms of dividend, you will get paid if company go for liquidation. In case uh, any one of you don't understand what is liquidation, in other, word, in other words, uh, it will be like winding up the company, bankruptcy the company, you get the protection first, you get a priority. Redeemable means that when the moment you exit, okay, so you can actually redeem back your capital. This is how it works. All right. So now, uh, one very important question I know is from your mind. Why New Leaf would like to offer the share to investor? Okay. The answer simple is that we are going to expand our business for another 1,000 acres of new lands development. We start from 200 acres first. And this 200 acres is under this subsidiary company, New Leaf Eco Development Sanyabra, which we offer to investors two years back. In our contract status, clearly, 2019, 2020, and now, this month is our closing month. So for information, I'm not lying to you. I'm not because I want to close you. I tell you this month is a closing. But in fact, finally, this month comes to our closing month. So if you look 
look at the project. If you would like to invest, you have to invest at this moment, all right? And we are going to share, uh, we are going to complete the whole business change. We engage with two parties for our fundraising, okay? So the first one is under ECF. One is ECF equity crowdfunding. Who is ECF? ECF is one of the uh, platform uh, under Security Commission of Malaysia. In fact, you know that you know that like unit trust, like stock market, like bond, like equity crowdfunding, funding, this is all regulated by Security Commission. So there is a party called Pitch In. Pitch In is the party that under Security Commission. Second is UBB Amana, one of the licensed trustee. So this is the one. So we engage with Pitch In and UBB Amana for fundraising activity. So you must understand that before Pitch In and UBB decided to carry our project, okay, under their so-called management for fundraising purposes, at first they need to do one thing, it's called due diligence, to make sure that New Leaf is a genuine company, have proven track record, have plantation background, have all the requirements, fulfill all the requirements, then only they decided to carry us, am I right? So this is how it work. And who is UBB? And why I mentioned UBB but not pitch in, the reason is we have successfully completed our project in pitch in. If you want to join in now, UBB is the only platform for you to join in. So why is it different if you invest in pitch in and UBB? The answer is no different. Basically, same project, same agreement, just two different platforms for fundraising activity. And UBB currently, they manage more than 1 million capital of asset and they started since 19. At the end. It's 33 years, very established and experienced, well-known trustee in Malaysia. So how UBB protect our investor in this project? At first, when you decided to invest, you are not going to uh, so-called transfer or remit your funds directly to New Leaf. In fact, you will go to UBB New Leaf Trust account. UBB will manage the fund. And how UBB manage the fund? Basically, UBB is based on New Leaf Plantation Progress, slowly release the fund for our uh, developments. All right. So this is to secure that. During the development, they manage the fund to make sure we could use of the fund. What happened after we complete the, the so-called development by end of this year? We are going to wrap up everything. We are going to close our fundraising by this month. And then by next few months, we're going to complete the whole business change. And after that, how UBB protect you? Basically, if you have any inquiry, if you have any complaints, you can go to UBB. UBB is a custodian for all the investors. UBB hold the share on behalf of all the investors. In future, you will also get return from UBB as well. How you get return from UBB? How UBB pay return to you? Basically, is once we complete the financial report, we declare dividend uh, We declare dividend to UBB trust account, and then from UBB, declare to all the investors. This is how it work. And what is the share price? Every share is 10,000 ringgit. Uh, for information, we have left about 43 share, equal to last 430,000 for subscription. It will end maybe before, definitely before 31st of July or latest by 31st of July means end of this month, we definitely have to close it. If we manage to sell it earlier, let's say in this uh, next one or two weeks, then we will close it based on first come first serve. 70% of the entire company net profit after tax will share to all the investors. Here mentioned net profit after tax means that once you get the dividend, you no need to declare your second tax, all right? And the whole project is for 20 years. 20 years means that uh, then a lot of people might ask me a question, huh? The project so long. Some people might like long-term project, of course. Long-term, every year you get the, the, the money from us every year. Who don't want, am I right? What if you decided to exit early also can? So you don't go and complain to your feedback to the uh, my relationship manager who invited you tonight and said this is a long-term project. No, long-term, short-term, you decide. If you decided to sell or share in between any time up to you, after one year, after three years, after 10 years, you decide, all right? And this is how we utilize the fund. You will notice that 60% go to plantation, another 40% go to manufacturing, trading, sales, and marketing purposes. 60% plantation. If I just mention plantation, you will imagine that how much we need to spend. At first, we need to acquire the land. 
do you know the land is cheap? If the lease land will be very cheap, leasehold land, it will be about 20 to 30, I'm talking about in Rao and Bentong now, 20 to 30,000 per acre. If freehold, it will be more than 100,000 per acre. So at the moment, we have freehold, we have leasehold, okay? And acquired land is one thing, do the land clearing, nursery, and then planting, then we need to build a very complete uh, water supply system. You must understand that every durian tree requires a few liter of water every day. It's basically more than humans, okay? So the young tree, they need five liter. The old tree, they need more than 10 liter per day. So we must have a very complete water system to supply the, uh, the water to all the tree, okay? And 40%, of course, and then uh, uh, not finish yet, you must then a worker is one thing, fertilizer is another thing. Okay, so from left hand side, you will see trading, manufacturing, all this. Why I show you this chart, I just want to let you know that this is the way the money go, and this is also where the money come back to you. So all our business activity from plantation, from our trading, from our manufacturing, retail, export activity. All the business chains, the net profit will share to all the investors. So remember, you are not only limit to plantation profit. You basically share the entire company business activity profit. All right. And what is the risk involved? Before I'm talking about the return, and then we are also uh, telling all the investors here. Let me see how many of you. We have uh, 97 people tonight. Okay. So if you have any inquiry, you can ask me after that. If you are a foreigner, later I will address to you as well. This is a risk involved. Why I mentioned foreigner? Because not all the country can plant durian. Some people, uh, they are not from Malaysia. They don't really understand the agriculture risk, right? So let's look at the risk. One very important keyword is called risk management. Risk management come from where? Come from experience. This is why one of the, one of the reasons why you need to choose new leaf but not other new startup company who don't have experience. At least we have more than 10 years experience in plantation. At least we have more than 20 years plantation experience manager who are managing our plantation now. First climate, if come to the so-called rending season, definitely they will affect the yield, am I right? So suddenly you will see that how come this season, the price normally it's like 60, 70, now suddenly jump up to 90, even 100. It's because of less production. Why less production? Because of affected by the weather, especially rending season. This is one of the, one of the risks, okay? Rending season, it doesn't mean that the whole plantation don't have yield. No, it's just like less and then counter back by the high price in the market, okay? So you still will earn money, it's just more or less. If come to the good weather, then what will happen on the particular year? We have a lot of production, then you will earn more money on the particular year, okay? So second is chance of test. People might ask that, well, people don't want to buy uh, this Musan King anymore, okay? I tell you, it might happen one day, maybe 50 years later, if people totally forgot about Musang King. Until today, those uh, so-called other brief like D24, Deca, still got people, got demands in the market, am I right? So every brief, basically, they stand strong in the market. And then how we counter this? I'm not telling you that uh, Musang King will not get replaced. I'm telling you that if there is one new brief come out and welcomed by the public, we can actually in uh, some of the lands or maybe at the same tree, we can start to develop the new brief. Let's, let's, let's call it uh, ABC, okay? ABC brand come out when it, you must understand that nowadays all the tree is crafted one, okay? By the technology experience. Imagine that when my Musang King is growing and produced on the same tree, another side, I can just do the crafting and plant the new brief. So this new brief, they will start to grow up. So you will see that one tree, left hand side, they produce Musang King, right hand side, they produce another brief. Ah, this is how we manage, okay? So the third one will be single market dependence. It means that I cannot just export to, let's say China, I, just how I keep mentioning about China, right? Maybe because of any political economic issue, China closed door. Then what happens? This actually, we are, we Malaysia in the advantage, why? Because Nowadays, the market is monopoly by uh, this uh, Thailand that we know. Thailand, they export 90% of the durian to China. If anything happened, 
there will be a big trouble to the China uh, to to this uh, Thailand deal uh, during industry. But for us at this moment, we only fifteen percent exported, and this fifteen percent most of the durian is to Singapore, Hong Kong only, just little to China and other country. Okay, imagine that we still have time to develop and open more and more international market. This is in our advantage. Just now I mentioned a keyword, this called uh, this risk management. Okay. And the last one is, of course, oversupply. Oversupply, I will say that uh, you and me, we know that if you are durian lover, this year you eat durian, next year you eat durian, then are you going to say that, oh, I, next year I don't want to eat durian anymore, just like you drink coffee every day, okay? So my message behind is the population who love durian will grow, and population growth will faster than the durian production. Why? One durian tree, one single durian tree, all the durian tree, they require at least four to five years to bear fruit. Okay, this is one. Second, the land is limited, but the population growth is unlimited. So we expect that next 20 years, definitely the high demand is still there. So are you going to tell me that you will come in 20, 30 years later in my oversupply that time? We don't know. But at this moment, I know that the gap is so big, it takes time to to grow the population, the demand is there. Now is a golden time. So whether you want to come in now or later, you decide. All right. And let's look at the illustration of uh, projection return. This is all waiting for. All right. We use one year, which refer to year act for this uh, illustration purpose. It doesn't mean that you only get your return in year act. It doesn't mean that you get return after year egg. No, this is just one of the example that year egg production calculation. Then when are you going to get your first return? One year later. This year is 2021. Uh, next year, uh, we, you come in, next year is considered your year one, right? From now until next year is your year one. So those revenue that we generate next year, it will declare to you in year 2023. So basically, in year 2023, you are getting 2022 dividend. The reason is we need to complete the whole year's two season after audit, the financial report, after we know the dividend, we only declare to you in 2023 that you get 2022 return. Okay, this is how it works. When a tree is eight years old, every tree, they can produce about 80 durian from 200 acres of land. Every acre can plant 43. So imagine that I have 8,000 trees in this 200 acres. Every tree produces 80 durian. And every durian, the average weight of the durian is 1.5 kg. Then in this entire project, 200 acres, I will have 960,000 kilo of durian on year egg. Okay. Assume that the fund price is 30 ringgit, we will generate 28 million of revenue. Minus the operating cost, fertilizer, worker all this, and the net profit of this particular year is 20 million. Okay, how are we going to share these 20 million? In the contract status, clearly 70% to investor, 30% belongs to company. Okay, and based on this 30%, AV share, how much you will get? We will divide by the total number of share, 7,000 of share. AV share is 2,000. So how much you invest per share? One share is 10,000. In this particular year, you get 2,000 return. So it's equal to 20%. Am I right? So imagine that if you invest 10 share, 100,000. In this year, you will get 2,000 times 10 equal to 20,000. Okay, so number of share, you decide. Okay, so how are we going then? If you look at this uh, number, you will understand one thing, where it comes from. We are not over promise our investor. We do, in fact, we calculate very conservative to let you see the potential higher than this amount. At first, I use the average weight of 1.5 kg, am I right? But if you go SS2 today, you will get to buy great A durian, 1.8, 2.5 kg is there. Okay. So we use very conservative 1.5 kg. Second, I use a farm price of 30 ringgit. Do you know what is the current farm price? 
50 today and yesterday fund price. Yesterday is 48, today is 50 ringgit. So the fund price is 50 ringgit, but I use 30 as calculation. So the unit for this project basically is tell you that we do not limit the potential earns for every one of you. We are not going to guarantee you say that, oh, you come in, I guarantee you 5% every year. Okay, you can just put in uh, this, uh, this uh, unit trust or maybe your EPF. I will not guarantee you to put uh, to, to 10%, no. And you come in because you see the opportunity, because you know the prices were so good. So you want to earn the highest from the plantation, okay? We are also not going to limit everything. We're not going to like uh, uh, guarantee you like uh, how many percent return, am I right? If the market, let's say because of any reason, in the market, we will say that a lot of people die because of guarantee. Why? Because of the market, then uh, let's say market drop or whatever, how can they going to fulfill what they guarantee you since day one, am I right? So in fact, in here, why I say I do not guarantee you is because of, let's say because of certain thing, the market slightly drop. You do not get 20%, you only get 10%. Is this good for you? Or you only get 5%, is this good of you? It's definitely good, you know why? Because the company still sustain, okay? Company sustain, next year, next two years, market will up and down, am I right? No, it will not forever low or not forever high. Okay, so market will come back and then you will earn more than 20, 30, even 50. So this is a very fair deal that to make sure company is sustainable. A lot of company happens or maybe you get some scam is because of their guarantee you something that they couldn't fulfill end of the day. So they declare bankrupt. Okay, and this is uh, the whole year, whole 20 years projection return from 2021 to 2040. And from growing matured to golden state, the graph is going up. Why? The older tree, it will produce more yield. Okay. And if I use the current price of 50 ringgit, you can refer to the blue color one. So blue color show that 50 ringgit stagnant for next 20 years. Okay. It will not happen because of inflation, the price will go up. It might slightly go down, maybe for next one, two years, we don't know. But overall, the whole years, we know that just like I show you the chart, the Musang King from 9 to 10 to 12, 15, 20, today is about 50 already. So slowly going up 10 to 20% per annum. But I use the calculation here is assume that they do not go up, do not go down, stay at 50 ringgit for next 20 years. So every 10,000 that you invested, you will earn more than 100,000, which is 120,000, okay? And you are going to expect more, why? Because this projection calculation, I just purely based on plantation. I not yet include manufacturing, export and retail profit. And it also show that this, this is the cumulative 120,000. Not that 20 years later, you only get 120, no. It's every year you get the dividend cumulative. If the price stay 50, then you can get about 120. So if you have faith and confidence in the durian price in future, you should assume more than that, okay? And asset allocation. Left hand side, 50% is related to finance, equity, unit trust, and even cash 10%, you want to cash out easily. This is just a suggestion for you, why you should diversify 20% to plantation with this four under commodity, all right? And the reason behind, people might ask that, hey, are you going to lock, lock, out my, uh, lock in my money for 20 years? No, you can freely to sell in between. And if you want cash today, tomorrow, you can just get it from your cash, sell your unit trust, one week you get the money, sell your equity, a few days you get your money. The one is for your so-called liquid cash. But something, it should be secured for long term. Why? Because one of the so-called unique for property and commodity, the price will go up. The value of the property, the value of the plantation will go up along the year. Am I right? So you should keep some money in some of the so-called asset best investment. Okay. And this is seven reasons come to last uh, two of my slide. Why you should invest in new leaf. First, reputable, credible company. We're not taking your money, then start from zero. In fact, we have our trade record, okay? And we're taking our money, you, we invite you in, it's because of we're going to expand our business to another 1,000 acre, okay? 
and we have a goal for IPO one day. The whole project is 20 years. You can treat it like a passive income. If you, I, I know that because all of you, you listen to my Zoom because you have extra cash, you look for opportunity to invest. But out there, there's a lot of people suffer. If the people who have money five years ago, for example, they invested into this project, this kind of project, today they are getting very stable passive income. Okay, so third is convert to IPO. What is the benefit for you? The IPO as a so-called preference shareholder, you have the priority and advantage to exchange your preference share to our IPO share one day if we manage to go for IPO. So the moments we go for IPO, your share value will increase. So we call it capital gain. The fourth, why you should invest in asset best diversified in asset best investment. We know that asset lands property or is limited. You're not waiting for the price drop, but in fact, you should buy in now and wait for the price up. Am I right? So as the best investment, the value of the property will increase. Second, this is regarding uh, related to bankruptcy. If you invest to, uh, let's say, some technology company or uh, some other intangible asset, more to like internet based, or maybe I, I will I just say it, intangible asset. If anything happened to the company, they got no asset. Maybe they got some furniture in the office. That's it. But for us, if anything happened to us, you have a very valuable asset which is durian plantation on hand. When we sell the plantation, remember I shared with you just now, preference shareholder, the priority is you will claim the money first before ordinary share, before the bosses of the company. This is very important protection to everyone. Fifth is transferable. If you are 80 years old now, our oldest investor is 78 years old. Okay. People might not say that I'm old, I do not put my money, I, I do not do investment. In fact, they still do investment because they're afraid that if the money just go to the children, will gone one day. So they can just transfer the share in case the disease of the people, then we can transfer to the beneficiary to continue hold the share. So this is transferable. If you are 30, 40 years old, you are young, this is a good platform for you to accumulate your wealth. If you decided to sell it one day, just like a property, you engage with our agent, which is our relationship manager, we will look for another investor, take over your share. So you might ask me a question, when you want to sell your share, can you mark up the price? The answer is definitely can. We were based on so-called willing buyer, willing buyer, willing buyer, willing seller price. To, to transact the share. But in the agreement, it was status clearly every share is 10,000. Then you might ask me another question. Will people buy my share or not? Okay. I cannot guarantee you, but I can let you see the positive side. Okay. The positive side is, you imagine that the dividend will increase along the year. If you decided to sell the share three years later, which every year generate, let's say, 10, 20% return. If I am the investor who buy over your share, I no need to start from zero. I straight away enjoy 10, 20%. This is the value of the share, okay? And six is legal compliant. I mentioned to you, we engage with two legal platform. One is pitch in equity crowdfunding under security commission. Second is a licensed trustee, UBB Amana trustee. All the document was sent for stamping. Seven, has a fee, you have your job, you have your professional, you are the expertise to earn money from your platform. What happens after that? You keep the saving, right? You look for opportunity to invest, right? So we are the third part for you. We are the platform for you to invest here. We manage everything. We provide you the dividend. We provide you the auditor report from our trustee directly. So this is has a fee project. You no need to see the graph of the of the so-called stock price up and down, no need. You no need to monitor the forex at midnight, no need. Everything is managed by New Leaf, okay? And this is our last offer. As I mentioned to you, um, we have an official uh, let memo out already. So we are going to close by this month because we are left last 43 share for subscription based on first come first serve basis. If some of the big investor, we have honestly, we have million investor. We have 10,000 investor. We respect everyone. 
So if there is a one or two big investors take out 10, 10 share, then I left 23 share based on first come, first serve. And I do not free you anything. I can free you my own product. Okay. So in past, we have our own durian. We give it to our investor. Durian and downstream product, we are not guaranteed give as a free to investor every year, but it's subject to management decision on that particular year. I'll be very honest to you because some people might think that I invest one share next 20 years, I get dividend every year, I get the free durian, very worth it. If the company do that, I tell your company will bankrupt. Okay. So basically we are giving special discount rate for our investor. If you buy 70 in SS2, you buy directly from new lead, you pay 50, which one will you choose? Discount or durian in the first one. Second, discount or durian, even you're not uh, registered, today we will give you three days special. If you want to buy durian, you want to test our so-called great and guarantee durian, my relationship manager will send you the code letter so you can just redeem, then uh, uh, deliver to your doorstep if you're in Clan Valley. Second is FOC durian truffle chocolate. We have uh, uh, this one, we can give it to you as free. If you want, you can redeem, you just pay few ringgit, nine or 10 ringgit for the uh, this uh, uh, transport fee. Third is FOC Musang King if you subscribe. So if you manage to subscribe, we will allocate uh, a lot, uh, uh, not a lot. We will <laughs> basically every two share and above, every share we give you two pack of Musang King 400 gram, okay, worth about 162 pack and also two pack D24 worth about 100. Okay, so this is what we will give it to you now. And last thing, just like I did mention, trusty, trusty. Do you think that trusty is free? Trusty is not free. Trusty do the job, they will charge 750. So if you invest within five days from today, okay, today is Wednesday. So next Monday, you think of it, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, you let my people know whether you're in or not, because whether you're in or not, my 43 share will still finish up by other people, am I right? So if you can see the opportunity, you invest within these five days, then we can wait 750 for you. After next Monday, if you come in, you have to pay for the 750. All right, I have complete my uh, sharing session. I really appreciate your time. And uh, I will answer Q&A after this. Then people might ask me, can I visit to your farm? Of course, yet, but not this month. Perhaps uh, end of this year, another season, because this month, you know, I know it's FMCO. We can't, we can't do the movement, am I right? Okay, let me see the chat box here. Okay, the first question from John Tan. Can we supply durian to your Hong Kong relative who are interested to, to open the store? Okay, of course can, but you have to, uh, first you just ask your relative to contact the relationship manager who invited you. And you have to tell them they're not going to order 10 or 20 kg. Of course, it's not worth it, right? So for dealer in overseas, your requirement at least 500 kg or even 1000. So it will worth it, worth, worth it for the logistic costing. Okay. So second question, any hidden costs? Okay, let me see. Uh, any hidden costs? So basically, uh, there is one cost. Okay, I'm not saying it, hidden cost. If you decided to transfer in future, you have to pay. If you decided to transfer in future, you have to pay one time 300 ringgit that's it if you invest one share 10 share 100 share is just one time 300 ringgit for the trustee uh, transfer fee then uh, no other hidden cost no other cost just one time investment every share 10,000 and if you transfer 300 that's it okay let me see the third question what is the ratio of dividend between ordinary share and preference share Ordinary share uh, refer to the bosses of the company. Company owns a 30% dividend and 70% will share to all the preference shareholder. And for, for information, just like I did mention that we are going to close, this is last 43 share, right? The reason is we have a 1,000 acre, right? This is our first project. After we close this one, next year we will launch our second project. So second project, we will not share 70% and 
as high as this project to investor. Second project, we will lower down the profit sharing to our second project investor. So this is definitely a best deal. This is because in the past, we use our fund for development. This is the first project we invited investor in. And then second, third, fourth project, definitely will lower down the profit sharing. And uh, another question from Lin asking about dividend yearly or monthly. Of course, dividend is come from yearly because we know that one year, two season, after closing everything, we need to calculate how much profit we have. So after financial, uh, our financial debt is February every year, all right? So February after financial closing, about three months time for the audit, then we will start to declare dividend uh, through our trustee. Okay. And uh, next question, is this any minimum subscription for share? Okay, uh, there's no minimum because we left last 43. If you are capable to take up the 43, we are more happy and thank you. And then we will close this project and we're waiting for next year for our second project. So the last 43 project based on first come first serve basis. Okay, Vivian. The dividend is 20 years every year, is the capital guarantee. Okay, here is two questions. One is dividend, one is capital, all right? Um, first talk about the dividend. Dividend 20 years per year, uh, no. As I mentioned clearly just now, the calculation just now is based on, let's look back the slide, then everyone have better picture. Huh? Okay, this is the one. Okay. All right, so from here, you will notice that how we calculate the so-called return. First is the production. Second is the fund price. The 20% here refer to the fund price 30 ringgit, but in fact, current fund price is 50. So if based on current fund price calculation, the return here should be more than 3,000. So every year, how much we earn based on the production, based on the wage of the uh, durian, average wage, and third, of course, is the fund price. And your second question is capital guarantee. Okay, um, there is two scenario here talking about capital guarantee. If you decided to exit, okay, if your company uh, upon maturity, company redeem the share from you, this is all you get back hundred percent of your capital. So am I right to say this is capital guarantee? Second, I will very honest to you in the event of liquidation, winding up, bankruptcy. Is your capital guarantee? The answer is no. Okay, why is no? It's because of when a company go for liquidation, we had to sell all the asset. Okay, imagine that you join in. Now we acquire the lands is hundred thousand per acre. For example, when the tree grow up five years, ten years later, the value of the plantation has been increased to five hundred thousand to one million per acre. If the value of the plantation keep increasing, we sell off all the asset, we can guarantee your capital. We're able to pay you back 100%, not an issue. But if there is because of certain issue, so the price of the plantation drop, okay, so we couldn't sell at good price, then we will only, uh, based on the, maybe you will only get back 70% or 80% if the price drop, okay? So if you get back so-called lesser than your capital, it's still better than ordinary share like bosses. Because as a preference shareholder, you get the claim first. We need to fulfill at least 100% of the capital to our investor. If there's any balance, only go to ordinary share, which is the bosses of the company. This is very important. So at least you know you are in the plus, uh, plus point in the advantage. Okay. So next is uh, from Mr. Mohammed. When can I get your fully financial report? Our financial report is distributed by our trustee, UBB Amana and patient directly to investor. After you invested, then you have the right to get the financial report from them. Okay, so next question. Does it mean 10,000 investor by ordinary share? Uh,
Okay. Uh, does it mean uh, every 10,000 invested by ordinary shareholder will be given the same dividend in terms of the percentage as same as 10,000 invested by preference share? The answer is no. For information, the so-called ordinary share. In this structure, right, we have uh, two parties. The first one, 30% of the profit is belongs to the uh, company. 70 is belongs to the investor. So we do not say that uh, equally in terms of the percentage for the share distribution. But this share is one thing and also in, in uh, profit sharing is another thing. So the 70 to investor, 30% uh, to this uh, 70 to investor, 30% to the company is based on profit sharing, but not based on like ordinary or preference share. Who is ordinary? Who is preference share? Okay, next, Mr. Carlyle. Do we need to apply for permit to supply durian as a shareholder? Okay, I'm not really get you. Uh, I mean, that supply durian to who? You mean so if you want to uh, get durian as a supplier from... If, if you want to engage a new leaf as your supplier, basically, if you want to buy, if you want to get a, a durian from new leaf, you don't need to get permit. You can just buy it directly in bulk. Okay. And okay, here is a few more questions in the chat room. 100 acre project uh, from Jason Yap. 100 acres project of lands is locally in Malaysia. Our lands locally in Malaysia. Yes, of course, we only focus in Rao and Bentong. Why no other uh, stage or places? The reason is very simple. We call it uh, cost effective. We all, nowadays, if you really, if you have money, this is why you offer to invest. You can easily buy any plantation lands. Uh, it's a, a bit expensive, honestly. Uh, from Rao and Bentong Kara is a lot of lands available. Buy land is one thing. Development is very, very time consumed and worker consumed. Okay. So our project is all in Rao and Bentong nearby 20 to half an hour to minimize our cost. Okay. Any office in Penang? Uh, we don't have office in Penang. Our office is in... Uh, Kota Damansara, call Samway Damansara Technology Park, the photo that I share with you. Uh, we have a factory there, our downstream product in level one, our management office in level two, our plantation in uh, Rao and Bentong. Yep. Okay. Um, there is another question from Mr. Rajay. But uh, in five years, Bole Pulang model based on two kg globally one share. Uh, okay, so the answer is uh, it depends. Why I say that, I cannot say that in five years you will earn uh, every year. I my understanding is you're asking me that every year you earn two k, five year you earn ten k, so you get back. Uh, so-called 100% of your investment about 10K, okay? I couldn't say yes or no. Like I mentioned to you just now, it was based on the market. Who knows next year the market or next two, next three years, the market price is top 50, jump to 100, jump to 150, then there is a chance for you to, to, to so-called earn 100% within a short period of time. But I, of course, we cannot guarantee that everything is based on the market performance. And if you have, Confidence in the future market price slowly go up. The nature of business and the price, the healthy one, it should be slowly go, going up 10 to 20% every year, but not suddenly jump out. Then it will suddenly jump down, just like uh, what happened to Bitcoin. Uh, all right. So uh, next is about is program Sharia compliant. Um, unfortunately, we do not get Sharia compliant, to be very honest. But in our agreement, we mentioned clearly this is all for food, for durian, uh, industry, manufacturing, plantation, everything is clearly status, but we do not get Shara compliant uh, certificate. Okay. Uh, another question from Mr. Mohammed. What is your company last year financial report, profit or loss? 
The answer is lost. If the answer is profit, today I will not offer you to join in. Okay. If I already made profit, why, what for I offer investor to join in? So why is lost? Okay. Simple is that every investment, every project like property under construction, under development, lost. Complete uh, development, which we are going to complete in agreement with status clearly 2019, 2020, and this year 2021 is our offering and development year. So after we complete everything this year, now what we have complete, we have complete some of the lands, we have complete our manufacturing, we have complete our retail export, we, I will say that we complete 80% already. So we are going to finish complete the remaining 20%. Then the expenses will from this high drop because the expenses Will come well after we complete everything. We no need to spend so much money, am I right? So next year's onward, we're expecting net profit. All right. And operating costs are fixed. Of course, uh, operating costs are not fixed, and operating costs will increase some more. One reason simple is that fertilizer will increase. Worker salary have to increase. The government announced the so-called minimum wages, then then every expenses will increase as well. So inflation will increase the cost at the same time. The cost increase, the price of Musan King will increase as well. Okay, this is the nature of business and economics. Huh? Okay, how many tree is planted? It depends on our, based on our current plantation, we have planted about 2000 something. Okay. Put more than one name. Okay, Peter asking, uh, can we put more than one name? Unfortunately, you cannot put more than one name, but you can separate the agreement. If you want to buy five share, you can go five share under husband, five share under wife. If you want to go for under one agreement also can, then there is another form called beneficiary form. In case anything happened to the subscriber, the share will transfer to the beneficiary. Okay, next from Ms. Uh, from Yuli, how about below 50 ECR, 50 HR, what does it mean? I'm not so sure. Okay, perhaps you can write clearly. Okay, and another question from Mr. Mohammed. Let me check, uh, give me a minute. Uh, okay. So I think there is a mistake then. Perhaps you can ask again a question. So I go for next question. Um, if company happens to be lost next year, what happened in our capital? Of course, your, all the development capital has been spending for development. Then you're asking me an uh, assumption that if company making loss next year, making loss means that our revenue, the money that I collected from export, retail, plantation, not enough to cover my expenses. Am I right? So if company still making losses next year, for example, then we had to wait for another year. Then when the you have more, more you, the business have grown up again, the retail, the export volume grow up again, then the following year, it might uh, turn to positive. Uh, we call it a uh, net profit, then you will get in the following year. Nothing happens to your capital. The business is still going on. Okay. All right. So basically, I have uh, completed uh, most of the question here. And let me see, maybe last two questions, then we, have sh we should end uh, the next session. Mm, okay. Mr. Wahab, for this special offer, new leave guarantee 70% net earning for 20 years. You are right. The status in the agreement, 70% investor, 50%, uh, sorry, 70% investor, 30% belongs to company. Okay. So Mr. Yuli asked, kurang lima puluh acre boleh ke mengikuti project ini? Uh, apa maksud kurang 50 acre? Are you meaning that you are offering your lands uh, less than 50 acres or what? So this is, I'm not so sure. So basically our target uh, for this, uh, yeah. So our target for this project is 200 acres. Okay, are you meaning that you're going to offer me your lands 50 acres? I'm not so sure about your question. Okay. So basically, I complete all the answer here. Uh, I, ju I just have a last word to everyone. Remember my few key points here. 
as the best investment opportunity is here. And now, first come, first serve, last uh, 43 share for subscription. If you do not join in now, you can go uh, uh, for our next project, perhaps next year. We share 50%, then you will you definitely you will not get the best deal now. Lah. Okay, so and don't forget this is a very stable, established, and also a confidence company. We have engaged with the right platform for our fundraising activity. I will pass the floor back to Sue. Thank you, everyone. Okay, all right. Um, once again, Anson, thank you for your sharing. Uh, timing is very important. When is the right time to invest in the right industry and company? Right? Okay, yes, Musang King is the trend market right now. It's, we bring you a lot of fortune. Okay, for those who are interested to invest, we will, have, we will waive the trustee processing fee of 750 ringgit until next Monday. Yeah? So now, uh, durian season, now it's a durian season, right? So kindly contact our relationship manager right after this session. You can purchase our fresh durian on our pla online platform, yeah? platform at special rate and get some free uh, free gift from us. Lah. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, it's a great session with everyone tonight. So I wish you take care, stay safe and goodbye everyone. Okay, bye.